Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. In this lesson, we're going to continue with a few new concepts in AngularJS. But just before we continue, I'd like to let you know that all of the source code for each lesson will be uploaded onto this address. So magicmonktutorials.com slash AngularJS slash lesson and then the number and then .html. So last lesson, here is where you get the so source code from last lesson. So each lesson, we're just going to improve or I guess uh, extend our knowledge a little bit. Last lesson, we talked about the ng app and the ng init directives. So I probably didn't really explain what a directive is, but you can sort of see that they're just add-ons to the HTML attributes to give the HTML tag more functionality. So by adding this to the body tag, I have now said that I'm going to enable Angular code in this section. So this is the root element of the angular code anything in here will be angular enabled and then this little directive is just a declara declaration of variables and what values you're going to give to these variables and these are the expressions uh, that we are evaluating in angular so that's what we have learned so far. So this lesson, let's try a few new things. And the first thing is, I want to talk about where can you put these expressions? Okay, and um, you can actually put expressions inside HTML tags. So for example, let's say that I have an HTML tag a paragraph tag and I want the background color of the paragraph so background color is green okay and I type a few things hello the background should be green okay and if I test it out in Chrome so you can see that we have a background, um, sorry, a paragraph where the background color is green. Now, instead of typing in green here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a variable called color and I'm going to give it the value green. And that means that instead of typing in green, I can simply use the angular expression um, color. Okay, so now you can see that this bit here is actually evaluated by angular because I have a variable called color and here we're referring to this variable. So if I save this and look at the Chrome page, refresh and the color is still green okay so if I change this bit to red and let's see refresh and the background color is red so it is reading the value of the color variable and next thing I want to do is I want to show you guys how to change that color from user input so if I put up another HTML element uh, called input and let's uh, if I just use a simple input tag and I just put input type equals text okay so this is a text box and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce you to a new directive called ng model okay and if you 
hover your uh, mouse over it. Actually, it didn't have an explanation, but all it does is it binds the value of this text box to Angular to an Angular variable. So I'm going to bind the value of this text box to the color variable. Okay, so whatever I type inside this input tag, it's going to go into this variable. Right? Isn't it magic? So if I save this, have a look at the page, there is now a new text box and it says red because the value of this text box has been bound to the variable color. So if I change this to green, right, the paragraph now has a green background. Let's change it to yellow, right? Whatever color you want, black, okay? So white, uh, what else is there? Brown. So that's really fun because it makes it so much more instant instantaneous instantaneous change this was not easy to achieve with um, javascript or other languages you'd need to type a lot more code so that's sort of fun to um, do that and then um, let's show you guys a few more things so rather than um, typing out each of the variables individually um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of this bit here that says I'm 15 years old so I'm just gonna get rid of that I'm gonna get rid of all of this stuff here and I'm gonna show you that you can actually put in a variable here that is uh, similar to a JavaScript object a JSON object so let's put in here car equals um, and then uh, brace and now let's put brand brand is brand colon single quotation Hyundai and then comma model is I 20 okay so that's a JSON object uh, JavaScript object so now what we can do is we can simply print it out in an expression and then we can actually I'm gonna print it out inside the value of the input tag value Actually, no, that's going to get confused because that's currently the color. So let's just put it inside the paragraph and I'm just going to print out the car's brand. And then I'm also going to print out the car's model. Okay with a bit of space in between okay so let's now test that out Hyundai i20 all right that's now inside here so it is working let's just change the background to something light okay so yeah it is working actually let's <clears throat> make another input tag to font color so that's background color background color and then i'm going to use another one for font color font color is red is white something like that <clears throat> so here we have font color and then for the paragraph I have color is font color so now I have two input tags input text boxes and I can change them right one is
Oh, something's happening. Oh, the background color is background color. That's right. So if I refresh, right, I got the first input that I can use to change a background. In the second input, I can use to change the text. And then I've got the variable Hyundai i20 um, from, coming from the car brand. Okay, so I felt like uh, we've covered a few new concepts today. I'll let you guys play around with all of this and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.